Greetings, everybody. We're talking about stairs today and how you can make custom stairs of any size that you want to make. Now, this originates from the last video I made where we demonstrated how you could fix height gap issues in your grid. And there was a comment on that video from Jake that pointed out that the method I used there might be a quick way to develop custom stairs. And I thought he was absolutely right. So I jumped on stream and thanks to the help of the viewers, we were able to come up with a method that worked pretty well. And now that I've been playing with it for a couple weeks, I'm gonna show you how we do it. So we're just gonna get started. We're gonna go with the TLDR method and then talk some fancier stuff afterwards. So I have a few blocks foundations here. They're just too high. And we're gonna make three stairways just to demonstrate this. To get these stairways started, we're gonna be using beam surprisingly. And we're gonna be starting with freeform mode. If you haven't switched build modes for your beams, you use the default hotkey is R, which will switch between default, diagonal, and freeform. And this one, we're gonna be starting with freeform. So start with that. The first thing we need to do though, is that we can't actually build our stairway from the point we need to start and end. We need to actually raise it up a little bit so we can actually create snapping points. So what we're gonna do, you could raise it up by using beams at your start and the end point just by doing default mode and going up two or three or four meters. But I find using foundations works and I'm gonna use two meter foundations, but you could use four meter foundations if you like, or the beams. And then I'm gonna do the same where I want the beam to end. If you're doing this out in the middle of the world, it doesn't matter. You can be on grid, off grid. Uh, your stairway is gonna be your custom stairway. Then we're gonna start at the top just because the length of the beam will probably not be a whole number, which means that one step is gonna be slightly shorter. And if you start at the top, it'll be even at the top and you'll have your slightly shorter step at the bottom, which I think looks better. But if you like it at the top, you could start at the bottom. Now I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm going to start from the middle of the foundation at the top and go to the middle of the foundation at the bottom, but you absolutely could go anywhere you want. It doesn't matter. This is a, you can make this stairway at any angle, anything you want to do. Um, but to keep it simple, we're just going to go for this. And I'm going to do three different stairways here to kind of show the flexibility. Now that we have our templates down, we can actually get rid of these raised foundations and we can start building our stairways. Now, at this point, you can do this step at the top or the bottom. I'm gonna get these out of the way just to give me some room. And we're gonna go back to default mode and we're gonna go down two meters because I did two meter foundation raised. And we're just gonna add a two meter beam for each step of the stairway. And let me do the other as well. All right, now that we have our snapping points done, we can actually take whatever foundation we wanna use and I'm gonna get rid of these starting foundations to show you. And I'm gonna use one meter, but you could use two or four, it doesn't matter. And I'm just gonna snap the foundations to the bottom of each beam, like so. On the top one though, I'm gonna go back to four meters just so it lines up with our starting point. We can then get rid of the beam, all of our snapping points, and we have a beautiful stairway. I'm gonna do the same thing right here, although you'll notice, and this is where I meant about the beam being and not a whole number. You can see this step is starting slightly higher and a little further back from this foundation. So I'm gonna add another foundation there and you can see this step a little bit shorter. If you did it the other way, that step would be at the top. Now that that's done, getting rid of our snapping points. And you can see two beautiful stairways made with the same method, and they are tailored to the distance that I wanted them to be. All right, and we have one more over here we haven't done yet, and I'm gonna do something slightly different with this one. Because it's so long, I'm gonna actually do a step every other meter. You could still do it the same way. The steps are just not gonna be that tall. So in this case, I'm just demonstrating we can do something slightly different. And now we have three gorgeous stairways. And you might be like, well, are they actually walkable? And yes, these that I've done are actually all walkable. You can walk up and down them. There is no issue. There is a limit to the height on the steps to where you can't walk on it. So you're gonna have to play with the angles a little bit if you get too steep. But that is the basic technique. It works great. Uh, you can make stairways of any length. You can, if you can fit it in a blueprint machine, you could easily blueprint these stairways and then use them in your factories. Welcome to my office.
Let's quickly cover what we just learned. First, raise the top and bottom points of where your stairs will be by some amount, such as two meters. Next, with a freeform beam, starting at the center of the top point of your stairs, connect the beam to the bottom center point of your stairs. Then, back in default mode, add a two meter beam at each snapping point along your template beam, or go back down by any height that you started with when you raised it up at the beginning. Finally, snap a foundation to the bottom of each beam and bask in the glory of your beautiful stairway. Don't forget to test it for walkability though. Now, let's move on to some additional tips and tricks. Interestingly enough, if you create one that follows the proper proportions, in this case, you can see we're going up by two and out by two. So we have an even two, two up, two out. You could do three up, three out, four up, four out. It actually lines up very nicely with the size of these walls. As you can see, it matches up perfectly with these walls. You could even raise these walls by one meter. And then you have a nice stairwell railing. So with the right angle, you can have a nice perfect alignment with the, with the angled walls and have a perfect stairway railing. How gorgeous is that? Obviously, depending on the angles you use, you might even be able to do it with the two meter or even the one meter. Now that we've done all that, I'm gonna move on. We're gonna do a couple details just to keep in mind. One is if your angle is too steep, the stairs won't be walkable. And we can demonstrate this by using like a frame foundation. This is about 40 centimeters high. It's easily walk, you can walk up it. If we do like a half foundation, snap a half foundation, so that's 50 centimeters. We can actually walk up it. 50 centimeters does work. But if we do something like 60 centimeters, you'll find that you actually can't walk up it. So if the stairway gets too steep, you may end up with stairways that are too high on each step and it won't work. So that's the one thing you need to keep in mind if you try to make it too steep. The other thing to keep in mind is when you want to do fancy stairways like these, which require two different points in order to create your stairway. So if you want to create a, a stairway from multiple angles, the one thing to keep in mind is the beam needs to be the same length, at least simplistically, because as you can see here, this is 25.29. And if we come from this end, it's 25.27, basically the same in this case, just satisfactory math. But if we try to also come from the center or maybe one of these other points, which are a different distance from this point, you'll see it's 2507. That is pretty close, but that probably will be a big enough a difference that we'll be able to know. And I'm gonna demonstrate here. We'll create a few steps here. And then we can see after I place them down, you can see that the steps here are slightly higher from here than they are from the center one. The key to remember is when you're trying to make multiple steps from multiple angles is that the beam needs to be the same height if you want them to all line up. That said, when th we have the same distance beam, such as from there to there and there to there, we can see that the heights line up and you can create interesting stairways. Now, one interesting thing you can do as well is that obviously the foundations you place down are going to line up with the beams. So whatever angle the beam's at, your foundations are gonna line up with it. But you can rotate your foundations. So you can rotate them 45 degrees at least, and you can have some interesting effects like this if you wanna create a stairway a little bit, a little bit more interesting. Also, you can use, you know, different foundations, such as this inner corner extension to create interesting stairways. As you can see, the great benefit of this method is that you can pretty much tailor the stairway to the, any way you need. And the last thing I wanna show you is you, you can create stairways of any length. And here is a demonstration. I created one from that cliff up here, down here. It doesn't matter if it's longer than the 40 meter length of a beam. And I'll show you how. Okay, so I'm gonna place this down here on grid and up here, we'll create another starting point. We'll do our two meter height and two meter heights there. All right, we're gonna go into free pour mode, start at the top and we're gonna head down to the bottom. And even though we're well past the 40 meters, as long as we point to where our anchor point needs to be, the beam will face the right direction. And so I'm just gonna attach onto the end of that beam and continue to snap here to my end point. And as you can see, 
Uh, we didn't quite make it, but we're close. So we'll just do another one. And as you can see right there, and now we have a beam from the top to the bottom, and we can just do the same thing we would do before. Remove our two starting heights, and then add our anchor points all the way up, and then you could create extremely long stairways. You don't want to have your stairway too high, so I'd recommend doing your first few stairs, test if they're walkable before you do the whole thing. If they're walkable, do your whole stairway. That's it for this video. Hope you found it informative. Be sure to hit the like button and comment down below. Let me know what you think about this and if you'd like to see more content like this. I do appreciate it. See you next time. I'm an orange blur.